Okay, today we're going to be looking at fav icons a little bit. Uh, when you go to a website, in the tabs here, you can see little icons that are different for each site. If they have some set, you can set a default one for your entire website or individual ones for pages. These are also useful when people are creating shortcuts on their computers or phones. It adds a nice looking icon that is recognizable. But I, want, I needed for a project I was working on a bash script that would grab the fav icon. So real quick, let's look at the... Uh, HTML for this page on my website. So when I look at this, you can see I have a list of fav icons here, and they're all different sizes and formats. This is generated with a with some code um, for different formats. You could have just one, but it's nice to have different sizes for different um, platforms, and it's simple enough to do. So the issue I had, and I tried looking up if there was a tool or something like this that already existed, and there may be, but I didn't find anything right off the bat. Um, but here, so I'm looking in this current for this page, a subdirectory icons, but that could be called anything. That's just what I call it for most of my sites, but it could be something different. It could be a full path with the domain name and to a directory somewhere on the site. And then some people like here, I just have icons, meaning in this current directory, go into the subfolder called icons. Some people put dot slash, which is probably a little more correct. So I started off by writing off, writing out a script that would look for these links, and then it would check the first character. If it was a forward slash, then grab the domain, put that at the beginning. If it was a dot, then don't. If it started with HTTP, then use the whole thing. And at, I no, that, that was just a horrible way of going about it. I would have to do multiple lines of code. Uh, I came up with a simpler way. Now my code is very simple. I have not tested out a whole bunch of sites, but so far it's working for my needs. And it's grabbing whatever the first fav icon is, which it may not be the highest resolution. So my code can be improved upon, but I wanted to share what I've created so far with you. And basically to look at solving that, getting the full URL for the fav icon, regardless of how it's written here in the href. So here we go, I'm gonna take this URL here, and in my directory I have my fav icon underscore get is what I called my script. When I hit enter, I give it a URL, I press enter again, and it spits out, again, the first fav icon in the list. Uh, and I can click on that and we can go to it. There we go, that's the icon that I use for my uh, little note search. Now, let's look at my, my code here and see exactly what I did. Uh, well, actually, no, before we do that, let's just, let's just start typing some stuff out. So again, I can use wget dash q capital O dash and give it the URL. And this will dump out the HTML from the page, right? So we got that. And then I can grep fav and get some of the information we want here. But again, here's the issue. We don't have the full URL. Now, wget does have an option where it will create the full URLs for all links on the page. And that command is the K, or switch is the K command. But there's a problem doing it this way. I don't know exactly why it can't do this. But if I hit enter, it's gonna give me an error. And the problem is it can't spit out to standard output when using the K option. So basically, I need to dump this to a file and then grep through the file. So I'm going to, instead of dumping it to standard output, I'll just say fav, dot icon, that's not really a good file name, but I'm just gonna name it that. And if I open up that fav.icon file, I can go into it, and we can see here that it has given us the full URLs for all, everything. Everything that's, whether it's uh, a full path or not, originally, we now have the full URLs to everything that's href. So now, I can take that, I can grep for fav from that file, and you can see my fav icon. Let's look at my actual code, fav icon get, whoops, let's try that again without my fingers slipping, uh, make this a little bit smaller. So uh, the way my code works is it's going to ask you for a URL, and then it's going to check to make sure you actually entered something. If not, it exits. Really, it would be better if I actually check to make sure it's a URL, you know, make sure it starts with HTTP probably be better, but here it's just checking, did you input something, otherwise exit. Then uh, we're creating a variable for where we're gonna store that file, and then we're going to pull down that URL to this file, and then here I'm going to cat for this, and I'm gonna, this is, this is the part where I'm basically just cutting and splicing and searching through the file to find the very first fav icon in the list. This is a part that might be able to be approved upon, because different sites may have 
different HTML, but so far all the sites I've worked on, I've tested it, this works. Um, and then it spits out that, that URL to that fab icon. Again, uh, it's spitting out the first one on the list, which may not be the best quality option, but for my project right now, that it's at least a start. Uh, I have put this code up on Pastebin. So there's the URL. I'll try to remember to put that in the description of this video. But go ahead and check that out. If you have improvements, make the improvements, post them somewhere, and put the URL in uh, the description below to let us know because it definitely this could definitely be improved upon. But again, this is quick and dirty to get done what I needed to get done today, and I thought I would share it with you. I do thank you for watching. Please visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris the K. There's a link in the description. And as always, I hope that you have a great day.